Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where you can find the best adoption advice and advocacy for children in need. Now in this video, I am going to talk about the difference between foster care adoption, foster to adopt, and fostering. And if you stick around until the very end, I'm going to share with you the most important tip that you need to do your foster care adoption successfully. Now, if you want more of this amazing content, be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and hit the bell button to be notified when I post a new video. There is a lot of confusion out there about foster care. When I talk to folks and I say, hey, have you ever thought about foster care adoption? Most folks look at me with wide eyes <laughs> and they'll say, oh no, I don't ever wanna do foster care adoption because if I adopt from foster care, you know, that kid is gonna be in my home for a few days, a few weeks, I'm gonna bond with that kid, I'm gonna love them so much, and then I'm gonna have to let them go. That's just heartbreaking, I cannot do it. And most folks confuse foster care adoption with fostering. So let's start with fostering. What does fostering mean? Fostering is when you are deciding to be a foster parent and the only purpose for you being a foster parent is because you want to be a safe family for children in need. Okay, you understand that the goal of your fostering is to help that kid go back home. That's your job. And so if that child ever becomes available for adoption, then at that point you can think about it, but you are committing to being a safe family for children in, in need. Okay, that's what fostering is. To become a foster parent, you have to go through the licensing process in your state, you know, take the training that you need to take before you become licensed, okay? And once you do that, you're good to go. You can start becoming a foster home, all right? Now, that's very different than foster care adoption. For whatever reason, when I say foster care adoption, most people start thinking about fostering. So let's talk about foster care adoption and what it is. Foster care adoption is when you are deciding to adopt a child from foster care whose parents' rights have already been terminated. There are over 100,000 of those children in the U.S. right now. So how do you find these kids and how do you adopt them? Well, you're going to need to go to your heart gallery. Every single state has a heart gallery website where you can see pictures of the children in your state right now who are ready to be adopted. Okay. Now, what you have to do usually is go to your website. If you find a child that you're like, oh my gosh, I love this child so much. I want to adopt them. There's usually a way to um, get the contact information for their caseworker or whoever you need to contact to be able to start the adoption process. Okay. So that's the way that you want to start your foster care adoption. Now, what do you need to do to adopt from foster care? Well, you're definitely going to need to get a home study done. Okay. Some states may require you to actually become a foster parent, meaning you have to go through the licensing process, do your home study and do the training to become a foster parent. But that doesn't mean that you actually have to foster before you adopt. Okay. So foster care adoption is when you're adopting out of foster care with no intention to foster first. Okay. You have no, you don't want to be a foster parent. You just want to adopt that kid. That's foster care adoption. All right. So what about fostering to adopt or foster to adopt? Foster to adopt is when you are fostering, you've decided, okay, I want to be a safe home for these kids because they need it, but I really want to be able to adopt them if their parents' rights are terminated. Okay. So you understand that your primary job here when you become a foster parent is to help reuni reunify them. But if that fails for whatever reason, you're like, I'm available. I am ready to adopt them. Okay. A lot of foster parents do that. So how do you go about doing that? Okay. You want to keep that adoption open, but you also want to foster. You want to talk to your agency about that so that they know that, that those are your intentions. Um, some agencies will tell you, well, we can't take you if all you want to do is adopt. But if you're really clear about your intentions, you tell them, no, we want to foster. We just want you to know that if that child becomes available, we want to be um, a candidate for adoption, okay? So that they understand that that's kind of where your heart is at. So that is all worked out with your agency. To do foster, to adopt, you have to go through the same process as becoming a foster care licensed home, okay, in your state. Whatever that looks like in your state, that's what you have to do. When it comes to the adoption part, you just have to communicate with your agency and let them know that that's what you want to do. One thing I didn't mention earlier about foster care adoption is that one of the cool things about foster care adoption is that you can adopt from foster care in any states in the United States. So if you live in Maine and you want to adopt from Florida, you can. If you live in Florida and you want to adopt from Kansas, you can. And you can adopt a child out of foster care 
in any states in the United States, okay? So it kind of broadens your options. So if you're looking for your heart gallery in your state and you're thinking, hmm, we want, you know, I don't know, an older kid or a younger kid or a sibling group or whatever, and your state doesn't have children who kind of match that criteria you're looking for, then you can look in another state and see if there are kids that show up that you're like, yep, that's the perfect fit for a family. So I want to know, will you please comment below and let me know which category you're in? Are you wanting to foster? Are you wanting to foster to adopt? or are you wanting to do a foster care adoption? If you have decided that foster care adoption is the route that you wanna go, and you wanna know how to do it much faster while saving thousands of dollars in the process, I have an adoption course that you're going to love where I actually walk you through the step-by-step -step from A to Z on how to adopt from foster care successfully, okay? So if, you wanna, if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box below and you can get access to the adoption course and learn um, how to access that, okay? Now, I promised you that if you stuck to the end of the video, I will share with you the most important tip that you need to do a successful foster care adoption. Okay, this is the thing. If you call your state right now, DHHS in your state, and you tell them, I want to adopt from foster care. I want to adopt a child who's already waiting to be adopted, and that's what I wanna do. I can guarantee you they'll tell you, no, you can't do that. We can't help you, you have to be a foster parent. I've heard that from so many adoptive parents over the years that it's kind of become this thing. I don't know why they do it, but they do. You know, a lot of, if you call your DHHS office right now, they'll most likely tell you, you can't do that. You can't adopt from foster care. You have to foster first. They do that, well, I guess I kind of know why they do that. They do that because they're wanting more foster parents to be involved, and so they're really wanting to recruit foster parents to be foster, to foster kids in the foster care system. And so, what you wanna do is actually go through your Heart Galleries website in your state and find a contact information that way um, to talk more about the adoption process because those people will be more, they'll understand what you're trying to do. If you go through your DHHS office, you'll have a much harder time um, because they're, they're probably gonna tell you no, they're probably gonna say we can't do that and probably tell you, um, that you know you have to be foster parent first. And I wanna tell you that that is completely wrong. You can absolutely, in every single state of the United States, you can adopt from foster care and you do not have to be a foster parent first, okay? So that's the most important tip that I wanted to share with you about how to start your foster care adoption successfully. Now, there's so many other things that I share with my students in my adoption course. So again, if you're interested and you wanna know how to navigate this process successfully, do it quickly and adopt, you know, without the pain of, you know, working with the state and all that kind of thing and trying to figure out what they're trying to tell you to do, click the link in the description box to learn more about my course. All right, thanks. So much for watching this video, guys. If you like the video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and share this with your friends. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.